Matthew and we're here talking about the section leaders within our choir, how to be a section leader, what to do and as a choir conductor what you need to be talking to your section leaders about. Okay so here we are, we've got our choir, say hi! Hey. 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 I love the choir. So um, section leaders, can you put up your hands? Amazing. So we've got our tenor section leader with their tenors, melodies running through the centre and our altos over here. And each of our section leaders knows that that is their role. Um, so their job is to first of all introduce themselves to their section so that their section knows who their section leaders are. Hi. So they'll sort of say, I'm the section leader, <laughs> let me know if you need any hand, if, a hand with any of the um, melodies or any of the parts. Um, it's the section leader's job to know each of their individual harmonies for each of the songs on the set list and to be confident to listen and, um, and make sure that they're able to confidently kind of correct or um, bring direction to their section. Okay, so section leaders, um, shall we sing that chorus again and then we'll, we'll go from there? So, oh praise the name on one, two. Oh praise the name of the Lord our God. Oh praise his name forevermore. For endless days we will sing your praise, O oh Lord. sort of rehearsal. So the section leaders at this point would be making sure that they heard their section. Um, things that they might be saying would be things like, um, hey guys, can we just make sure that we're blending a bit better, cut offs are ending at the same time. If there are any questions about what note is the right note to sing in a certain part in that um, chorus, then they would be asking the choir director first, and then if the choir, doesn't, choir director doesn't know, then they'll go and ask the um, vocal director. So the, the section leader's job is not necessarily to go directly to the vocal director to check parts, but basically just to let the choir director know if there are any questions that need to be answered, and also to be a lead person within that section so that the choir director can, um, can kind of continually communicate changes to those three key people, and they can make sure that everyone else in the choir is on the same page. Um, after the rehearsal, sometimes our section leaders will also just mention to the choir director or pull their section aside and run through one of the parts and that will really help to make sure that the morning is strong. So I think that's most of it. Is there anything else that you guys as section leaders would normally say that you need to do? Usually if there is a difference in harmony and like if we're not sure about a harmony, we usually go, I, I would either go to Danica and see if we're singing different harmonies and not the same one so that there is an alto harmony and tenor harmony. Yeah, fantastic. Sometimes we do get a little bit mixed up and the altos will pick up the tenor harmony or vice versa. So as Joey said, if the section leaders are communicating to one another, they can make sure that the parts are not clashing and if they're still working out a part, they can do that together with the people who are singing melody to make sure that everything is sounding good across the board. Amazing, thank you guys. And thanks for tuning in.